The budget for 22-23 was announced on 1st Feb 2022. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman specified the launch of Advanced Skill and Business Ecosystem ePortal, known as Desh Stack ePortal, which can assist in training, upgrading, and improving skills, thus playing a gigantic role in carefully empowering the citizens. In this whole program, a digital university will be established to provide access to the students across the country for world-class quality universal education with personalized learning experience at their doorsteps. This will be made available in different Indian languages for the ease of students. The best public universities and institutions in the country will collaborate as to provide the best content. Now, this will be beneficial to the students living in far away areas who do not have quality education facilities in their vicinity. They will not have to migrate to different cities to get a good education. In a nutshell, the education sector is set to groom. Furthermore, it was declared that 750 virtual labs in science and mathematics as well as 75 skilling e-labs will be set up. A major stress is being laid on skilling, reskilling, and upskilling of the workforce. In fact, the DESH in DESH tag ePortal stands for Digital Eco Ecosystem for Skilling and Livelihood. Be it entrepreneurial or IT, the government is planning to leave no stone unturned to make the citizens of the country employable and more efficient at, that, at their workplace. This scheme propounded by the finance minister is lucrative and applauded by all the sections of the society. But if we dig deeper into the stats and ground reality, we'll get to know that a lot of prerequisites are to be accomplished for the success of the scheme. The education system should be restructured in a way that it, that it encompasses more of practical knowledge and not just theories to be crammed by the students. Also, in rural areas, Citizens should be made more IT friendly and awareness should be spread for the need of education. In the end, the goals set by the government are quite appreciable and achievable. Let's just hope that effective implementation will be practiced and the end goals are met.